It took some detective work, but the gang and I managed to track down where Rajan had gone into hiding. Somehow, he'd managed to transform a long-forgotten temple into the thriving center of his spice operation. And it's there where we'll find him. The jungle, too thick to drive through, forced us to walk the long distance to our target. We ran into a few problems along the way, but pushed on. For the temple was more than just Rajan's hideout. It was also home to the clockwork heart. A pump so strong and tireless, it could increase spice production tenfold. Good for Rajan, but awful for the rest of the world. Hope he's not counting on that heart too much, because tonight, it comes home with me. Alrighty, so, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sly Sundays. In this episode, we're going to check what new power-ups are available for us. As we have a thousand um, H HP for some reason, I'm thinking of way too much of of uh, <laughs> Rage of Bahamut. Anyways, we're gonna get through the we're gonna get rather the stealth slide, one of probably my favorite ways to get around a Sly Cooper, and we can only use Sly Cooper, so might as well use it. And you guys will see what I mean that it's one of my favorite ways to play or to get around a level as Sly Cooper. Also. This guy has treasure. I'm gonna take this treasure very quickly before uh, we, we we start up the the actual missions. I believe that he caught us. Nope, he didn't. Awesome. And let's get out of there very quickly. All right. This is what I mean. See, it's so fun to use, <laughs> especially if it's downhill. But if it's uphill, you have a problem because he doesn't. It basically works with momentum. If you're going downhill, it works nicely. If you're not going downhill, you're you're screwed. Oh my... Okay, this is a bad situation that I find myself in right now. Uh, thankfully, it's just two flashlight guards and nobody else really came over here. Okay, is that... Are you not satisfied, sir? Are you not satisfied, sir? Turn around. Alrighty. I'm gonna go steal from this guard. Might as well get... Okay. Might as well get something productive is what I, what, something good rather, is what I was going to say. Because we basically took two hits over there. We got a golden ring, so that's good. A gold ring, sorry, that's the, uh, the official item name is a gold ring. Anyways, let's start up this mission. Sneak into the temple. Now take some recon photos so I can assess the situation. Alrighty. Just be careful. If you get hurt, the nearest hospital is 106 miles from here. Whoa. According to my map of the area, there should be a hidden passage into the temple behind that waterfall. Nice work, Bentley. I'll take a hidden passage over the front door any day. Yep, because he's a thief after all. Anyways, we have to go this way, I believe. Because we have to go to the, the hidden passageway, which, for whatever reason, it's uh, it's right in plain view if you think about it. Because we could see where the hidden passage, quote unquote, was. Okay, he's going this way. I just realized. Okay. Thankfully, we can go right up to him and just take him out very quickly with the new power up that we got. As I said before, that power up, one hell of a way to get around. The only thing though is that you have to be careful of holes and things because you you just it's like you're running basically. You you can you can jump and all, but you just you still have to keep a heads up, basically. Bingo, oh, you money. found a spice growing facility. Now, from what I know of photosynthesis, all the expensive equipment should be found at the top of this room. That access tube should get you up there. Sure, all it right. does. I'll head for the top. One thing I another thing I don't really understand is. How does Bentley have access to all of this knowledge? 
I mean, seriously. How does he have access to all of this knowledge? It's like he's freaking Jesus, knowing everything about... About... Basically everything about the base, which is supposed to be like a secret base, you know? So, we're not really supposed to know much about it, but for some reason... Bentley just... Okay... That's not going to end well... That almost didn't end well. Um... <laughs> anyways, monkey, just go home, you're drunk. We should be able to, hopefully, go behind this dude, wait for this monkey guy to go away. And that's far enough. Let's take him out quickly, and then just get away very quickly with our new stealth slide. Which, thankfully, doesn't make noise, for whatever reason. It's, it's like I have butter or something on my feet. Seriously, what is that purple thing that's on, <laughs> on my feet? Alrighty. It's pretty funny that you have to do this stealthily, even though you have to take out enemies in order to proceed. So you have to, like, take care of all of those guys, and then you have to take care of... You know, you have to go one by one, slowly taking care of them. Now, it would be a different situation if we had the upgrade that, uh, I, I think we're going to get either in this game or in the next one. I, I definitely know it's going to be in the next one, but I don't remember if it's in this game as well. It's basically a stealth takedown that'll let you, uh, you know, take care of the enemy very quickly. Also, why is that telling me to go down there? Oh, it's, it's, it's in case you fall down, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. Also, I'm going to go over here. Don't really feel like, uh... Alright, there you go. Don't feel like getting caught is what I was going to say. Anyways, let's steal from this dude, let's take him down very quickly, and then let's get on this bucket. Nope, 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 that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get on that bucket, which for some reason did not let me get on it. Which is pretty cool that you can get on a bucket, and you're, for some reason you're not found. The cool thing is, if you you don't get out, it drops you down at the sand. <laughs> See, the things that this game basically came up with, the ingenuity of this game, is really what attracted me to the whole series in general. Some of the vines around here are really slippery. Jump and hit the circle button to go for a ride. Alrighty. So if you guys were wondering, that basically reminds me of Miss Ruby's uh, episode, if you will. Chapter, episode, I don't know what to call it. Where we were in the jungle and there were slimy vines all over the place. Swamp, rather. Now we're in the jungle and it's pretty go. much the same Time thing. For a few recon photos. All right, clockwork's heart. Looks like half of the heart is being used to super irrigate the spice plants. That's only half the heart. Whoa. And then the other half is, of course, on this crazy dude's stick. Check it out. Rajan's carrying half the clockwork heart on that stick. Also, he stabbed it. Pretty sure that's not how hearts work. If you stab it, it dies. Mm, that crane is keeping half of the heart suspended. There's the entrance to this level, only I can't figure out how to get in here from the temple's exterior. Well, snap. Hmm. Bring those photos back to the safe house. We'll really need to think about this one. Alrighty. Job completed, and let's check out what the operation is going to be. The clockwork heart is under some steep security. Heck, Rajat is carrying half of it at all times. To get at the goods, I'll need to gather some more information. Sly will plant a bug in Rajat's office, while I lift the spice operation blueprints off the Spice Lord while he makes his rounds. Unfortunately, while we're collecting intelligence on him, he'll be collecting data on us with an elephant-driven satellite array. Take it out! or he'll be able to intercept all of our communications. All right, so it sounds like that's probably going to be what I'm going to do first. I'm going to have to take out that elephant-powered antenna. <laughs> Not really sure how that works, but okay, I, I, I guess I'll I'll have to do that one. Um, I, I really don't understand why it goes all the way up like that. It's so weird that it does that. There you go. Water bug run or freeing the elephant. I'm going to do the freeing the elephant very quickly before I end this episode. Um, so stick around and watch that, potentially. Let's start it up. 
John is able to monitor all of our communications out here with that elephant-driven satellite array. Which is what you just said like That's 30 seconds grim. ago. You got a plan for shutting it down? Don't I always? Now, the local spice plants are illegal for good reason. Eat too many, and you'll go into a fit of uncontrolled rage. Keep okay, that stuff that's away from pretty Murray. good. Oh, wait, wait, I get it. I put some spice plants in the elephant's feed bag. He chows down, gets all crazy, and then presto, the satellite's in pieces. Yep. A crude interpretation of the plan, but accurate. The trick here is harvesting the spice plants. You'll have to do some serious climbing, as it's they easy. only grow high up in the jungle canopy. Come on! He's Sly Cooper. He has no problem climbing and stuff, dude. You have nothing to worry about. Anyways, we're gonna go over here to hopefully start up... I don't really remember where it's supposed. you're supposed to start uh, the, the collection of them. Thankfully, though, they aren't marked. Okay, of course. Thankfully, they are marked for your convenience. So you don't, if you if you fall down for whatever reason, like I just did, but further on, um, you could just keep track of them that way. So let's go over here, and here is the first one: spice plant. Also, my cane disappeared. Why did my cane disappear? That was so weird. Um. Okay, let's go this way then. Woohoo! Climb up here. And, okay, buzz off, dude. Let's go over here. It's pretty funny that literally every vine that you're going on in this world is slimy and slippery. It could be because of the rain. It's non-stop raining. Seriously, why does my... Don't don't eat it. What the hell? It literally looked like Sly Cooper just ate it for some reason. Maybe it's delicious. I, I, I really don't know. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's ascend over... Oh, let's not ascend over here. Let's just make sure that we don't die. Okay, then. What I was going to say is let's ascend to the top over here, but apparently we're not going to do that. We're going to go all the way over here in order to ascend up here, hopefully. Um, are you moving? You are. Okay, good. And I don't really want to deal with this dude, so I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to take my lead very quickly. Collect the third spice plant, so we're one half of the way done. Which is pretty cool. Don't eat it. Keep it away from your mouth, dude. Are those the last three? I think those are the last three over there. Yeah, those are the last three blips over there. So it's pretty cool. Uh, can I climb up through there? I don't think I can. Oh, we can go this way. Sweet. Shortcuts. Uh, I believe we just cut straight through the pond. We just have to be careful that we don't fall in. Which isn't that hard if you ha when you have a double jump. Let's be honest. Alrighty. Uh, okay, where, how are we going to get up there? I like how he went from where to how. Where how? Where how? Seems like maybe up here is going to be the way that we're going to get up there. But now I just, I still have to find out how I'm going to get up there anyways. I think it's, yeah, there's right, there's a thing right here. Okay, this works. Okay, that's not a thing. That does not work. Well then. <laughs> Um, maybe over there? Okay. Alright. I'm trying to assess the situation, you know, I'm trying to choose the best course of action in order to tackle on that, uh, that objective. But I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it. Maybe going, okay, that's not going to work. Um, hmm. First of all, I have to get some vertical distance. That's like a definite thing that I have to do first. Before I even contemplate getting to the objective. Oh, that might have ended poorly. Thankfully it did not. Okay, this is going to give us some height. Hopefully there's some vines that'll uh, take us further upward. It does seem like there are going to be more vines. Okay, that's that's good. Holy crap, we found the nexus. Not the nexus. We found a connecting point between a, a bunch of these vines. So, pick up the fourth vine, so we're two-thirds of the way done. Pretty cool. And a funny thing is, you can do this trick just, you know, quickly. You just go right back up. The same thing. Makes no sense, but it's a video game. What you gonna do? You know? Video game logic doesn't exist. Seriously, Kane, stop disappearing. Where's the last one? Hello? Hello? Uh... Okay, seriously, where the hell is the last one? 
Yeah, I can't see anything up here. I'm gonna go back up to the to the big one. All right. Can I see? Okay, there you go. It's all the way over there. Uh, so I think we're gonna go this way, maybe. Okay, and nope, it's the other way. Awesome. Let's try not to break the bottle. Okay, that's good. Oh, this may be the first bottle I collect inadvertently. Nope. Sweetness. Just get the hell out of here, dude. Okay, that's all we have to do. No problem. And here's the last one that we have to collect. Sweetness. Spice plant. Sweetness. And, uh... Yep. I'm kind of on my way over there right now, dude. Okay, let's just, uh... Let's just let... Let nature take its course. Okay, there you go. I like how we only put one spice plant in there. Also, it's weird. He goes from blue-eyed to red-eyed constantly, and now he's going on a tantrum. <laughs> so now there's a angry elephant going all over the place. So obviously, that's going to be good for us. Also, I need to just get rid of the guys very quickly. And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Take care and goodbye. Says, where are we going? Water bug run. All right, there you go. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye, says.